right, let's move on. Well, the government's plan to establish an online safety commissioner to police the internet has unleashed a storm of comments. So how exactly would a cyber cop work? Who do you turn to when the hoons take over? Information superhighway. Put down the mouse and take your hands off the keyboard. He's here to take down the trolls. Well, that's not quite how Australia's online safety commissioner will work, but it is the general idea. One office with the power to remove harmful content from social media and stamp out cyberbullying for good. The aim of the commissioner is to have a central place in the federal government which is responsible for online safety for children. The policy is open to public comment until March. And as you'd expect from the online community, commenters aren't holding back. Laws tend to be pretty much outdated by the time they're passed. New legislation and the new bureaucracy here would be, would be a mistake and probably not helpful. There's no denying cyberbullying is a serious issue. But while critics say there are already laws which apply to online offenders, the government wants to streamline the process. One of the other things is the notion of a simplified cyberbullying offence. The policy also aims to make it easier for parents to get companies like Facebook and Google to take down harmful content. But industry groups say social media sites already have policies in place to prohibit bullying and harassment. And then there's the very murky question of defining exactly which content is harmful. So you've got till March 7th to have your say on the government's plan for a cyber cop. For me, the big question is, what should the uniform look like? Luke Hopewell is the editor of Gizmodo Australia. Luke, do we need an online safety commission? Look, personally, I don't believe we need an online safety commissioner or a bespoke safety uh, commissioner, someone to overlook these sort of things, simply because uh, the, the job really falls to parents to educate their kids about what is correct and, and what is incorrect behaviour online. What you've got to remember about bullying using internet services like Facebook, Twitter and all sorts of different apps is that they're just another tool that bullies can unfortunately use. Uh, what you can then do is you can follow up with the normal procedures you would uh, if it was happening just one-to-one -one in the schoolyard. But Luke, I'm sure you'll agree that that's not working. We're seeing increasing rates of cyberbullying. It is slightly different because they can hide behind the anonymity of the internet. Surely tackling this problem with ideas like this one is what we need to make sure the internet's a safe place for everyone in the future. Look, it, the internet's a really interesting thing because it's not a safe place. You're absolutely right, Andrew. It's not like the TV where you can sit your kids down between three and five every day and then come get them for dinner when the news starts. Uh, it's really something that you've got to educate them about and tell them what the appropriate behaviour is and tell them to really speak up if there's problems. What you can do if there's a real issue with bullying that can't be stopped is that there are laws in place about harassment using online carriage services that you can pursue with your state police service. I believe that government doesn't have a place in legislating the internet. Laws are reactive, not proactive, and the government just doesn't really know how to respond to the internet just yet. Luke, if you don't believe the government's solution is the answer, and if you don't believe that, that Twitter, Facebook, Google are doing a good enough job, what do you think is the solution to internet bullying? Uh, a lot of the solution can actually come down to, and it's a difficult one to, to, uh, to deal with, abstinence. If you feel that your kids are actually having issues with online bullying that you don't want them to run into, it's best to keep them off the service. They actually have age limits in, in place for a reason, so that the kids can't run rampant on these services and start abusing each other and cause real problems in the schoolyard. Yeah, but Luke, that's like telling someone who's been mugged they need to stay off the street. <laughs> that's unfair. We need to come up with other rules. It's the Wild West right now. Surely someone's got a better idea. Industry self-regulation a bit of a problem right now. I'll give you that. But I'll reiterate that the government doesn't belong on uh, legislating the internet. Uh, the industry needs to do a better job at being faster and self-regulating. All these companies have offices in Australia right now. It's time to appoint one person within those offices where the buck stops. Well, it's an interesting topic. Thanks for your time, Luke. Thank you. The is in today's web poll asked who should deal with bullying on social media. 31% said an independent commissioner, 42% said parents and 27% the websites themselves. Social media, surprisingly fair across that. Mm. Mm. I, I sort of turned out to